we we spent all yesterday talking about permeability. Who remembers what permeability is? It means stuff can go through it. It means stuff can go through it. There's different levels of permeability. Sometimes water can go through materials fast, sometimes slow, sometimes not at all. As we talked about yesterday, um, size, shape, size, sorting, and packing will all affect how fast water can through, flow through a material. Uh, as we did yesterday, okay, why are we going forward? Uh, which one is the water going to go through faster, the angled or the rounded? Rounded. How come? Okay, because all those pores, all the holes, the holes basically act like hallways. Uh, so because we got these big, large spaces, the water can flow through up much faster. Then how about? With the size, which one is the water going to go through faster with these three different size particles? The bigger particles. Again, really big, empty spaces allows the water to go through really fast. And how about sorted versus unsorted? Sorted. Again, we got big, empty spaces allows the water to go through fast. Will water still go through this unsorted one? Yeah. Yeah, it's just going to have to go a lot slower. It has to go around all the little particles. And then the last one is the loosely packed or the tightly packed. Which one can the water go through faster? Loosely packed. So we just went through all the, the conditions that allow water to flow through something fast. These are all very permeable. If they're round, large, sorted, and loosely packed, that's permeable. Water can go through fast. But now I wanna change it up and talk about runoff. What is runoff? It's when the, that, and in fact, that's better than I was even going to explain it. It's when the water doesn't go into the ground. So we're kind of talking about the opposite of permeable. We want to talk about what the water does not soak in. Now, again, before I give the notes, I want you just to use your background knowledge. Use the fact that you haven't lived under a rock. When do, oh wait, before we do that, what's another word that maybe before I started talking about runoff, what might you have called that? Or what might average normal people call runoff? When water is running over the land, a flood. Let's put that at the top, right where you have runoff. Let me grab the packet so I know exactly what you're looking at. Uh, right where it says, so right here, factors that affect runoff in this space right there, right flooding. Uh, hang on, I'll show you. Um, here, I'll stop the share and you can see. Let's do it. Right, factors that affect runoff. Right here. Oh, spell it right. <laughs> Flooding. Flooding. So runoff and flooding are practically the same thing. 